Okay, I had one of those days when I woke up feeling, you know, stressed, angry, irritable and difficult basically and I wanted to try and sort that out. I wanted to evaporate some essential oils but I couldn't find my oil evaporator so I made this one. Very simply, I just put a pen knife in uh, there and I cut round the tin there and I cut round the tin there and I bent the um, tongue of metal back which made a support which was good enough for me to put the candle on, little candles in there as you can see, okay? So it's just a Coke can. I've used the inverted underside as the place where you put the oils. Now with a metal uh, oil evaporator, you've got to watch it continually to make sure it doesn't spoil dry. But you don't put the oil straight onto the metal, otherwise it'll just burn off because the candle flame will basically burn it. You have to put a puddle of water there and allow the candle to heat the water up. And then you put your oils on top of the water. So the water itself restricts the maximum temperature that the oils can get to and then they start to evaporate. The strange yellow colour you can see there it's a combination of all the um, all of the oils themselves and also the, the I think that's probably the ink from the best before by date or the used by date which has come off on the, the underside of this can so maybe you might want to do what I didn't do and actually clean the underside of your can before you do it but there you go uh, it worked very well. I've evaporated some uh, lavender, cinnamon, clove and black pepper on this with a touch of lemon fragrance just to freshen the air and it's worked very nicely indeed. So you've got to carry on monitoring it if you want to burn it or, or evaporate for a long period of time. Carry on adding a bit of extra water but for your well-being, you know, peace of mind and all the rest of that kind of uh, wonderful new agey stuff then, you know, it, it works beautifully. So that's the ultimate budget way of making yourself a oil evaporator.